Hello, it's me again, Adam Yopst of A-Team Realty, LLC. And today we're going to be picking up where we left off last week, uh, interviewing Robert Moses, or Bob Moses, uh, as most of us know him, of Home Team Title. Bob is explaining how to uh, have your uh, tax assessed value appealed. Uh, he has successfully done this, and he's explaining to us the process involved with that. Uh, let's listen as we're going to pick up from last week's uh, episode where Bob is explaining uh, how much money he actually did save by going through this process, and then he'll, he'll get into how long the process took overall. Enjoy the show. Reduction, and it saved me $1,000 a month and $1,000 a year in taxes. Wow, that's, yeah, that's a good amount of money. Yeah, the, the, the tax rate, especially this particular property, was not my principal residence, so I didn't have the benefit of the cap on increases that you do on your principal residence. So mm -hmm. I was paying the full rate, and it made a huge difference. Now, how, how soon after you had that meeting in New Carrollton did you receive notice uh, that the property had been reassessed? About uh, two months. Okay. And you get something in the mail? Yes. Okay. It says notice of final assessment. Okay. And if you agree with it, then you you just accept it. And if you don't agree with it, then you take the next step and and file and and file to the uh, property tax assessment appeal board. Okay, gotcha. And uh, I remember reading about that. So if you uh, if you appeal it there, at that point they still consider an informal. Uh, you don't have to hire a lawyer at that point. Um, kind of process. Right. Uh, and if you agree with the uh, the verdict at that point from the um, the appeal board, um, you're fine. If you don't, then you can pursue it to a third step uh, where you submit it to the courts, as I understand it. Um, the third step is the Maryland Tax Court, but it's really not a court. That's the interesting thing. The Tax Court is an independent body appointed by the governor. Um, and although the proceedings are more formal than the first two levels, it's still considered to be an informal administrative hearing. Property owners who are in disagreement with the tax court's decision, though, can then go through the regular judiciary system, and at that point you need a lawyer. So you really can almost go through all three steps without a lawyer. But the, the, the key thing that they tell you when you're what, when you're doing these appeals is focus on the points that affect the value of your property. Um, indicate why the total new market value does not reflect the market value of your property. Identify any mathematical errors on the worksheet or inaccurate information describing the characteristics of your property, which is what we talked about, such as number of bathrooms, fireplaces, square footage, etc. Provide examples of sales of comparable properties which support your findings as to the value of the property. Okay. Those, are the th those are the things that they want you to do. And what you shouldn't do is talk about issues that aren't relevant, like why are the taxes so high? Um, you know, what you never used to tell me that my house was worth this much. Right. You, you know, it's it's really supposed to be a market value. They're they're not. They don't care about percent of increase. They don't care about past values. They don't care about metropolitan costs or CTI. Um, they don't care, you know, the amount of the tax bill is just a factor of the assessment, so they don't really care about the, the amount of the tax bills. They don't care about properties in other taxing jurisdictions. What they're looking for is specific facts that they can use to support your position, and the specific facts you really need are essentially the physical characteristics of your house and sales of comparable properties in the neighborhood. Those are the two strongest arguments. Gotcha. And and also, I imagine, included in that is uh, hardships. I mean, right now, a lot of homeowners are having problems paying their mortgages, and they're applying for these short sale opportunities. Uh, that's something totally different. So this isn't really, a, a, uh, you know, supposed to help anybody that financially may have encountered a hardship. This is just basic 101. My value is not this. It's something different, right? Correct. There are other programs for people that are financially disadvantaged, which the counties have on an individual county basis, and in which if you have, if you're elderly, for instance, elderly low-income people um, will get a break on their taxes, but they have to provide 
evidence that they're low income, but that's got nothing to do with the actual value. If you're appealing the assessment, what we're talking about today is just they got the value wrong on my house, and I want to appeal it because I think they're incorrect in valuing my house. And there's a lot of opportunity to be successful in this market because of the foreclosures, because of the short sales, because of the distressed sales. Um, there really has been a, a major adjustment downward in the comparable value of properties in most of the area. Not all, but most. Some of the low, some of the closer in, more desirable suburbs haven't seen as much of a drop, and some of them actually have held their value. But in, in, in the great majority of cases, there's been at least some decrease in the value, and uh, as a result, it, there's a lot of opportunity to be successful. Gotcha. All right, and with that, we've concluded our series on assessing a uh, property tax bill or asking for an appeal uh, on your property tax uh, assessed value. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the show. You found it informative. I know I have. I think I'll probably rush out and start uh, doing some of the things that Bob explained uh, to us during the show. So hopefully, you find it informative. Uh, look for our next show next week.